Before studying what is antigen processing and presentation, we need to recall what we have studied till now. At this point, we understand that B cells and T cells recognize different types of antigens. B cells can recognize variety of macromolecules such as proteins, polysaccharides, nucleic acids and lipids. But T cells can recognize only protein antigens in the form of peptides. Another condition of recognition of antigen by T cells is that, these peptide fragments must be presented to T cells in the form of MHC peptide complex. In the last video lecture we studied that there are two MHC molecule classes. Class 1 and Class 2 MHC Class 1 molecules present peptides derived from intracellular pathogens. We know that intracellular pathogens live and replicate inside the human cells. For example viruses. Under normal conditions, the peptides derived from the cytosol of any nucleated cell are displayed by MHC Class 1 molecules as MHC peptide complex. When a cell is infected by an intracellular pathogen for example virus, MHC Class 1 molecules present the peptides derived from virus for recognition by T cells. MHC Class 2 molecules present peptides derived from extracellular pathogens. Extracellular pathogens live and replicate outside the human cells. For example extracellular bacteria, toxins, and parasites. We also studied that there are specialized cells known as antigen-presenting cells which internalize extracellular pathogens and break them down into fragments. The peptide fragments of these pathogens is then presented by MHC class II molecules for recognition by T cells. Now we can understand what antigen processing and presentation means. The process by which pathogens and their products are degraded to produce peptide antigens is known as antigen processing. These peptide fragments combine with MHC molecules inside the cell. The MHC peptide complex thus formed travels to the cell surface where it displays peptide fragment to T cells. This is known as antigen presentation. In this video lecture we will see how peptide fragments from pathogens and their products are produced. How these peptide fragments are combined with MHC molecules and how MHC peptide complex is presented to T cells. Let's first study the processing and presentation of intracellular or endogenous antigens. This is a cell and its components which will take part in antigen processing and presentation. This is the nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. To understand this pathway, let's take example of viruses. Here the cell infected by the virus is known as the target cell. Let's zoom in and see how these viral antigens are processed and presented. When a virus infects a cell, it uses the cellular machinery of the cell to synthesize viral proteins. This occurs in the cytoplasm of the target cell. These proteins are taken up and digested in a large barrel-shaped structure known as proteasome. Proteasomes are present in the cytoplasm of all cells and are made up of 12 to 15 protein subunits. By the term proteasome we understand that these structures have proteolytic activity and thus they are able to degrade cytosolic proteins into peptide fragments. These fragments are of about 8 to 15 amino acids long. So, viral proteins are digested by proteasome into peptide fragments.
In the next step these peptides are transported to rough endoplasmic reticulum. This transportation occurs through a pore formed by a protein, known as transporters associated with antigen processing, abbreviated as TAP. TAP consists of two subunits TAP1 and TAP2. The alpha chain and beta chain of MHC class 1 molecule are synthesized and translocated into the endoplasmic reticulum. These chains are assembled together and a group of chaperone proteins bring this molecule near the TAP site. So, once the peptides have entered the endoplasmic reticulum, they bind to the MHC class 1 molecule in the peptide binding groove. Next, the MHC class 1 peptide complex thus formed is released from the chaperones and moves to the cell surface via Golgi apparatus. Once it reaches the cell surface it integrates into the membrane and can be recognized by the T cells. For recognition purpose T cells possess T cell receptors which recognize the peptides presented by MHC molecules. It also has the coreceptor CD8 which recognizes the alpha-3 domain of MHC class 1 molecule. Thus, T-cells interacts with both peptide and MHC molecule on the surface of the target cell. Since this pathway involves MHC class 1 molecules, it is also known as MHC1 antigen presentation pathway.